So here I am talking to Pam Woods and we're in the Park Inn Hotel in Bedford and Pam, the name of your organisation is? Conquest Business Events. And what's that all about? It's about helping local business to get in touch with target customers, make new contacts and get information about what's happening locally. So how many networking clubs do you run across the county? We've got five in the network. One in South Beds at Tildesworth Golf Club. One in Wybos. We also have an evening club in Bedford for those people who can't network in the morning. And also down in Mid Beds in? In Amptel and Flittick, yes, yes. <laughs> we covered all the county. We're not yet in Luton. And what's the format of the morning? We gather between 7.15 and 7.30 for orange juice, coffee, tea and chat informally amongst ourselves. Then we sit down to a cooked breakfast, if it's a breakfast club. The smaller clubs, by Boston, South Beds and Amptel and Flittick, we introduce ourselves very briefly for 30 seconds and then we have an invited speaker. At Bedford we just get to introduce ourselves round the small tables because we have 40 people there and we don't have 40 minutes to do it in. People are busy. Yes, and who would you typically get to be speakers? Do you have members as speakers? I like members to do talks. They get a lot of business as a result because people see them more clearly as an interesting person and people like to do business with people they know. We also have invited speakers. driver came from. And in terms of what that means for, for, for Bed this is Bedfordshire, across Bedfordshire and Luton, so it, it wasn't, wasn't a decline. So it wasn't all, all doom and gloom. Time ago. Around the 2000 mark, uh, we, 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 uh, the gap, if you like, between... What's so special about Luton? What, I always thought it was in Bedfordshire. You come out with a low, lower total than the total the, of the population. So is that an issue? Because, an issue and I hope, well, certainly I, I quoted the GVA per job. The, the figures at the beginning, mm -hmm. we talked about 59... For the general picture of the east of England to have a lower unemployment rate than the east of England. And, and, and Does this really affect the... Your strategy. Yeah, uh, I suppose the some of the economic growth stakeholders, if you like, particularly from the public sector, are, are, are beating away. This, this is this is some of our uh, uh, agenda. So I'm talking today to Alison Slatcher, and who do you work for, Alison? I work for the Bedford Development Agency, which is a private sector public sector partnership. It um, is between the Bedford Borough Council and some of the largest businesses in Bedford, for example, Charles Wells, Hanson Brick, Unilever Research. Um, and it's aimed at shaping the trading environment in the Bedford area, making it easier for businesses to do business. And you're a sponsor of the networking event here? Yes, we are, yeah. And why do you come to the networking events organised by Pam? Because I meet so many fantastic people, <laughs> lots of people who um, have got lots of good contacts um, and I've made lots of friends through this and, and it's leading to all sorts of business opportunities as well, sort of meeting people, being able to uh, 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 see people individually but also uh, as, an, as a doorway into, uh, into seeing businesses and uh, doing health screening there. So, yes. so would you, you would say then that network really does work for you? I would say it does, definitely, yeah. So why do you think people keep coming back to the clubs? Very varying reasons. Some come to get new business contacts and they've built their business on networking. So it's peer group support talking to people who have the same concerns.